Hello guys, let me walk you through the active vocabulary for this lesson. The first word you need to remember is performance. It's the standard to which someone does something, such as a job or an examination. We may talk about school performance and job performance. Performance can be remarkable, outstanding, excellent, strong or superb. It can also be poor, disappointing and satisfactory. You may deliver, put in or improve your performance. The verb is to perform and a noun is performer. For example, stress at home affects how you perform at work. He was one of the team's top performers. The next word to know is reward. It's something good that you receive because of something that you've done. You may get a considerable, high, well-deserved reward. You may gain, get, enjoy, earn, deserve and receive a reward. The verb is to reward somebody and in the passive meaning to be rewarded. For example, he always believed that the company would reward him for his efforts. The agency was rewarded for its successful advertising campaign. The opposite of reward is punishment. It can be cruel, harsh, heavy punishment. You may suffer, receive, avoid or escape a punishment. The verb is to punish. He was punished for stealing. People operating illegal businesses can be punished by imprisonment or a fine. Another important word to remember is compliance. It's the behavior of someone who is too willing to do what other people want or too willing to accept their opinions. The adjective is compliant. The verb is to comply. For example, you are legally obliged to comply fully with any investigations. The opposite of compliance in this talk is engagement. It's the state of being involved in a particular activity. An example from the talk. Management is great if you want compliance, but if you want engagement, self-direction is better. So these are the most important words you need to learn from this talk.